Pods by Emery and Rich. Waiting in traffic for the San Francisco Los Angeles Trans Bay Tunnel was bad enough, but with her interview at LA's most prestigious animation studio in an hour, Kelly was beyond fidgety. True, the Sink Tank Animation Building was only five minutes from the tunnel by car, and the transfer took only seconds, but the wait times displayed over the tunnel entry read 40 minutes. Cutting it close was not how she wanted to make her first impression. Stop clicking your pen, her mother yelled. Kelly sighed and put her pen in her bag. Yes, Mom and her 13-year-old brother were with her too, which made the situation more aggravating. To them, it was a fun shopping weekend, but to Kelly, it was her ticket to a better life. Her brother Seth sat in the back seat, earbuds in, his thumbs pumping away at his first-person shooting game. Huffing and puffing isn't going to get us there any quicker, Kel. Why don't you sketch? Mom moved up a car length as the time display clicked up to 41 minutes. <sighs> We're gonna be late. We'll get there. Don't worry. We've been in worse crushes than this. Maybe I should just take a pod. The wait times over there are only 10 minutes. But you have to rematerialize in that dingy old station where the lights are always flickering. Better than being late. Don't you understand what this job means to me? Kelly dug in the bottom of her bag for transfer tokens. Yes, but what if you get mugged once you get there? You know how they don't guard the exits. You could get hit while you're rematerializing. Your purse will be gone before you snap out of it. Mother, that only happens on Crime Wave TV. There's been like two incidents of that since the pod's launch. And the suspects were apprehended before they left the terminal. Kelly smiled as she found three tokens, just enough to get to L.A. in a pod. Fine. Go. We'll meet you for dinner, if you survive. <laughs> nice, Mom. Kelly rolled her eyes and opened the car door in the standstill traffic. You have your remat tabs? I don't want you getting sick. I have them. Don't be late. Serrano's. Five o'clock. Yes, dear. Mom waved as Kelly slammed the door. Making her way through the obstacle course of vehicles, Kelly finally stood in the personal pod line. Wait time clicked down to five minutes. She ran through the list in her head. Transfer. Transfer. Walk, Walk the five, five blocks, blocks to Sync Tank animation, animation. And have about, about ten, ten minutes to relax, relax before, before the interview. interview. Kelly heard the computerized voice greet the person in front of her. Awesome. She might even have time for an iced latte if the line continued to move as fast. A flash of light, and then the pod slid open for her. Welcome to Trans Bay Pod 238, the computer said. Please enter the pod and stand on the footplate. Kelly did as she was told as the computer weighed her. 114 pounds. Where is your transfer destination? She pushed the big Los Angeles square on the monitor in front of her, situated between London and Mumbai. You chose Los Angeles, is that correct? She tapped the green yes on the screen and held her tokens at ready. Please insert three tokens. Pumping in the tokens, she took a deep breath. She'd pod jumped hundreds of times before, but always got a queasy anticipation in her stomach. Payment accepted. Prepare for buckle in. The pod door closed behind her and synthetic straps crossed her body, one across her chest and two more on her hips and legs, holding her in place. Head pads moved in close to her skull. Biting her lip, she waited for the flashing red waiting light to turn to the green transferring light. If she got the job with synced in animation, her life would change for the better. She'd move out of her mother's house and get her own place in Los Angeles, maybe by the beach. Her pod glowed green, reminding her of one of those rapid release pills her mom took for migraines. Transfer will commence in three, two, one. You've been listening to Pods by Emery and Rich. Check it out in the On Time Anthology by Transmundane Press.